guys, Mrs. Mills here. We're continuing our instrument show and tell with our strings family this week. Remember that any instrument in this family is going to have strings. Today we're going to learn about an instrument from a student from the Mason County High School Orchestra. Here we go. Hi there, my name is Haley White and I'm a senior at Mason County High School. I play the viola in the Mason County High School Orchestra. I started playing the viola in third grade. Uh, I was nine, year old, nine years old when I first started playing and I'm 18 now, so I've been playing for nine years. I wanted to play the viola because it's a really good mix between the violin and the cello. The violin is what most people think of when they see this instrument. Um, it's higher pitched, it's smaller, and the cello looks much like this, but you play it setting down and it's much deeper and lower sounding than the violin and the viola. But it's a good mix, and I wanted to play the viola because it has really good aspects of both the violin and the cello, and you can do a lot of different things with it. How this instrument makes sound is with this thing, and this is what we call the bow. It is made of wood, just like the instrument. The instrument is made of wood, and it has this part on it right here, and what that is is actually horse hair. So the bow is made up of wood and horse hair, and you're not supposed to touch the horse hair part, but that is what you, with your fingers, but... That is what you put on the string to make sound. So that is how you make sound with this instrument. Um, there's different pitches. There's four different strings on the viola. There's an A string, a D string, a G string, and a C string. So that's different. That's what makes it different than the violin. Um, the violin has an E string, which is higher than this A string, but the violin does not have this lowest string, the C string. And that's what I meant by it's a good mix between the violin and the viola. Because you play it just like a violin, and it looks just like one pretty much, except for the size. But it has the same strings as a cello. So, before I go any farther, this is actually a full-size viola. Um, I know it's black, but I, it's the same thing, I promise. All the same pieces, it works the same exact way. This is what a full-size viola looks like. And it's much bigger than a full-size violin. Um, and that's what makes the sound lower, and that's what... That's kind of the main difference between the violin and the viola is the size of it is bigger and the sound is deeper. I would play this one for you, but it's kind of broke, so I just wanted to show you this to reference a full-size viola, which is what I play at our high school. But I have this viola with me, so um, there are other ways to play it. Um, there's different styles and multiple different ways you can use the bow and interact with the bow and the strings. But besides just that, there's this way called pizzicato. And basically, you take an L with your fingers and you can put your thumb on the edge of this fingerboard, which is what this black thing right here is called, the fingerboard. And you can pluck the strings instead and make sound that way. And it's the same pitches as if you were using the bow, but it's just a different way of playing. So this instrument is tuned just like the violin. It has these things right here called fine tuners and these right here called pegs. And what these do is they loosen and tighten the strings. So the tighter a string is, the higher the pitch it makes. The, low, the lower a pitch the string makes, the looser it is. So this C string is lower than the A string in terms of sound and pitch. So therefore the C string is looser than the A string. And what happens is you just turn them um, according to how the string is out of tune or how you want to tune it. So you can hear it going out of tune. I'm just turning this fine tuner back to put it back in tune. Um, this instrument, it's really cool. Um, there are so many different ways that it's played. Something that I really like about this instrument is that a lot of people don't know that they're hearing it. Um, so it's used a lot in classical music and all kinds of music. Um, modern music, symphony, orchestra, pop music, it's used in so many different ways. And I, I like that about it because people think they're hearing a violin or they're hearing a cello or something else. And really it's a viola. So when they find out or if they want to learn to play the viola, they find all these different ways that this instrument is played. And not only by itself, but how it interacts with the rest of the instruments played in a song or in an orchestra. And it just interacts really neat with the rest of them, and it's played by itself really cool. So, now I'm going to play a song for you guys. I'm going to play um, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. So yeah, 
yeah, now you know all about the viola and the way it works. Um, music is really important to a lot of people, and playing an instrument does so much for you as a person. It teaches you more about yourself. Um, playing an instrument challenges you. You can always get better, and to practice, to learn how to practice, and to push yourself to be better is just, it's a really cool thing to see your self-growth, and you can hear it which is really neat about playing an instrument, and specifically why I love playing an instrument. Um, music is important in my life because it does a lot of things for me. It calms me down, it makes me happy, It playing it and listening to it. And you can make other people happy with it, and I think that's the importance of music and the importance of learning how to play an instrument. So I hope you choose to play the viola, and if not, at least you just understand now and appreciate it.